Last week, the U.S. economic data continued to disappoint and the U.S. approved more massive stimulus measures to keep the economy alive. So by the end of the week, the U.S. dollar became the net winner among the major currency pairs. In other news, North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un has disappeared and there are rumors going around that he is dead. Welcome to the TickMill Update. I'm Kenna Danielle, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the TickMill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your Forex trading friends. This week, countries around the world, including the U.S., may continue taking tentative steps towards reopening from coronavirus lockdowns. We'll also be looking forward to the all-important FOMC rate decision on Wednesday. Today I'm looking at the pound yen pair which broke below the Ichimoku cloud on the 4 hour chart last week and has been supported at the 23% Fibonacci retracement level of 132. This could be turning into a saucer top bearish reversal chart pattern especially as the future cloud is also turning bearish. This week we may see drops towards 130 and 129 if the bears keep up with the pressure. Do you think the British pound is bound for further losses? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll go back to you with more updates tomorrow.